Hello everyone, thought I'd give you an update of our camp property and how everything's coming around here. As you can see, it's all frozen, covered with snow. Creek is completely frozen. I can't see the, hear the waterfall anymore. Must be completely frozen over there too. And I figured I'd give you some updates of what we've been doing before it got all frozen here. Water pipe all ran with new conduit going to the well to feed that. Still gotta extend the septic pipe from where that old tub is. I got that marking where the septic pipe is to extend that and here's the exciting part of the update mm, we'll get to see what we've been doing here well, maybe I can't see We officially have power hooked up. That's exciting. They connected everything to the pole over there. The guy doing the excavation. We had filled our trench mostly with sand to keep the pipes we put in there from getting damaged with the rocks and mud so we took all the rocks and mud over here and we filled it in over here to make this area a little more level hopefully that'll be able to flatten that out a little bit more in the spring it's all rutted up from the machine going through there and driving around. Still gotta get rid of the scrap metal and tires. Some cement blocks and rocks that are still around from digging. water heater we found stuck in the ground and some big huge cement and rocks old house used to sit here and there was a lot of cement block rocks and all that stuff that we have to take care of in the spring we'll have to take it somewhere maybe i'll use it for a fire pit or something Getting, getting better. That's the old well pipe and there's a septic pipe down in that hole that I gotta dig up again in the spring and see if I can get that somewhere closer where the camper is gonna go. Got it. one that one little tree there I gotta take down. And we got a leaner over here that probably might might end up coming down too. We'll see how sturdy it is. It leans quite a bit. Mostly towards the creek, so if it falls in no bad weather, it probably ain't gonna hurt me. I ain't hurt anything other than just falling in the creek, and I'll have to cut it up. Old weeping willow, I think. That thing has got quite a bit of height to it. 
the base is kind of, it's already broken up quite a bit. So it's fallen in a creek and I think it's multiple trees that kind of grew together. I'm hoping it'll stay, not tip over. Uh, it's a nice shade tree. Uh, got a stake in the ground like working the septic. Let's see if we can go near the creek. Cleaned this up since my last tour video. I was came here one day and the beavers had cut a bunch of this tree up, so I cut it back and it's got a nice, nice area here. It's nice and gradual to walk into the, towards the water. So I plan on cleaning this up from this tree over to that big clump of trees over there. I plan on cleaning this up, getting all the old broken up trees that the beaver have dropped, cleaning that up, burning it, and raking this clean and getting all the debris out of here. And having a nice area that we can use. It is usually that's about where the water starts. And it gets deeper just beyond this tree that has fallen in the water. That's where it starts getting deep. And we have all this area here, and then all the way up to the road up there, where the cement slab is and our power pedestal is, uh, where the camper will go. That big tank looking thing is marking an old drainage um pipe i don't know where it originates it is like a four foot square hole with a four inch pipe going in and out of it one goes into the creek and um the edge of the creek and then one goes towards where the house was i don't know if it was for um a gutter system or what but I may try to use the four inch pipe to feed some power down by the creek for some lighting and getting my um some light down here so we can fish at night. Uh, one house way over there in the distance. That's quite a ways away. One across the street that's band abandoned. And I don't know what they're going to do with that one. And then through the trees way up on the hill over there, there's another house. So it's not too bad. It's hopefully be fairly quiet here. Them beavers can cut quite a bit of a tree. Look at the diameter of that tree they cut. Well, it's getting cold, and I thank you for watching, and hope you enjoy. Have a nice day.